Hey guys, how's it going? In this video, I'm going to go through this Lico 314 binary tree vertical order traversal. Uh, this problem was asked by Facebook for 36 times the past six months. Let's dive in. So, we are given the root of the binary tree to return the vertical order traversal of the nodes value from top to bottom, column by column. If two nodes are in the same rows and index, uh, sorry, rows and all columns, the order should be in the form of um, from the left to the right. Okay. Uh, example, uh, 3, 9, 20, 15, 7. Uh, so the output should be 9, which is the first column, and 3, 15, which is the second column, top to bottom. And then the next column is 20, which has only one note. Last column is 7, just by itself. Only one note. Second example. Um, looks like this. First column is four, so that's the first element. Second element is nine. Second column is nine, has only one node. Third one is, um, third column is a three, zero, and one. So from top to the bottom, from the uh, left to the right, three, zero, one. That's exactly that. And then the next column, eight, just one single node for that column, seven, only one node for that column. Uh, example number three. So uh, from the left, uh, for the first column, 4, 9, 5, right here, 3, 0, 1, right here, top to bottom, left to right, 8, 2, 8, 2, last column, 7. So the way that I approach this problem is use some sort of uh, a column index. Because um, as you can see, when we traverse this tree, we can kind of know their index of the, the column index. So for example, the columns index for the first root node is zero, right? So when we go left, we minus the column index of the previous node. When we go right, we add one to the previous column index. For example, in this case, the column index for nine is going to be negative one and column index for four is going to be negative two because the 9 comes from the 3, which has column index 0. And when from the 3 goes to the left, right? And then whenever we go left, we minus the column index of the previous uh, node. So 0 minus 1 is negative 1. And now it has a column index of negative 1. And from here, when we go to the, the left node again, we, mine, we continue the minus 1 to get to the, the column index of 4. Okay? Same logic uh, applies to the other side. When we go right, we add to the prior column index. In this case, it's zero. Add one will be one, and add one to be two. Okay. And in the middle, we actually go from the left to the right. Okay. When we go left minus one, go right add one, so it's zero. Right. So that's why it has the same columns as the root node for these two nodes. And now the problem is, uh, how can we know that it's from the left to the right? And when we have a, a label order traversal, right, we can always append the number in that order. And that will from the left to the right. Uh, let me show you what I mean by that. So after label order traversal, we will, put a, uh, we will get a, um, a list of number looks like this. 3984017725, right? And also we will get the corresponding column index uh, by the method that we just talked about. And then next, uh, the ordering that we follow to append those number, which is follow the ordering in this list. For example, uh, the three comes before zero, right? That's why in this final list, so three will come before zero as well. And then zero comes before one. That's why in this list is zero before one. So the ordering of this list is very valuable for us to solve this problem. Yeah, so that's the basic uh, strategy that we will follow to sort of solve this problem. Let's dive into the code. So first, uh, with a uh, edge case, right? If the, the root node is none, just return an empty list, as in this example over here. And now we have the value and column index uh, pair list. So it, it, at the beginning, it's just an empty list, okay? And we want to do a uh, level order traversal. We need a queue. Right, so uh, what we need to do is uh, 
there are two elements of each of the um, components of the of this queue, right? So we have the uh, the node, also the the column index. We we keep track of, right? And initially, the 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 node that we we are at is just root node. Column index is zero. Also, we have the mean column index, also the max column index. Okay, because we have to calculate the range of the possible column index at the end, so we know exactly how many columns we have. Okay, so now let's do the, the level order traversal. While there's something in the queue, we pop it off. There are two elements. One is the low itself, also the column index. So we break it all down. And now we, we can uh, have the opportunity to update the mean column index and the max or column index. Basically, we just take the max function out of the mean function continuously, or whenever we see a new node. Next, we append this pair to the value column list. Okay. So essentially, what we want to get is something looks like this. For example, first root node has a value of three, column index zero. That's exactly that, okay? Also second node right now on the left because we go in from the left first, okay? And it's gonna be nine, right? And the column index is negative one because we're going left. The next element will be eight, which is over this guy over here. Column index will be plus one because we're going right. So zero plus one is one. Zero minus one is minus one. Okay. So after we uh, exit from this while loop, we finish all the level order traversal and also getting all the column index. We will get something like this as we talked about. And now we have to figure out how many columns in total. It's gonna be the maximum column index minus the minimum column index. That, that that's why we need to update the uh, max and mean column index along the way to figure out exactly how many columns we need and this is because this is an index we have to add one to arrive to the numbers and now for the answer and we have the empty list for each one of the column use python list comprehensive pretty easy for us um, and then now the next few lines are pretty straightforward so while there are elements within the value column and we pop off from the left, right? Because we pop up for the first guy, second guy, third guy, etc. Because this, again, this ordering is very helpful for us to figure out the ordering in the final output, okay? Because the ordering comes from the level, the level order traversal. We pop up from the left and then the answer, and now we have to convert. We have to convert um, the column index to the index of the answer array, right? Because this is zero base. This is not like a, the last, the first index is not negative two, for example. It's going to be the first index is going to be zero. So we have to do, do a bit of conversion and then append that value to the corresponding list. And then we return the answer at the end. Submit that and it works. And for time complexity, it's gonna be big O n. Um, actually, we traverse all the uh, values two times. It's gonna be big O two m, but uh, but the time constant is dropped. And for space complexity, it's gonna be big O n as well, uh, because we have the value column in uh, list. Also, we have the answer. Okay. Yeah. So this is my solution to this problem. I hope you find this helpful. If it is, please like and subscribe. That'd be huge support. Thanks so much for watching. See you next one. Bye-bye.